You clearly have me confused with someone else. I don't know. I mean, I'm not great on names. I should be. I try. Faces, I'm definitely better. Faces, I'm like a B, B minus. Where I'm good, where I really excel, people I've slept with. That's been a traditional area of strength for me. Hi, I'm Steve Samples. And I'm Bradley Damon. <laughs> this is our Icy Places <laughs> instant <laughs> movie <laughs> review of, was it, uh, Duplicity. Duplicity. Which was Julie Roberts, Clive Owens, and some other people. Yes. And uh, so, Brad, what do you think about the last two hours and five minutes? Two hours and five minutes. It, 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 you know what? It was pretty close to being a good movie. I mean, I think it was actually a fairly, it was a little slow, yeah. fairly decent. The acting actually, the, the chemistry between them was good. Was it? I just think they're really, yeah, I, I did like them. I thought, I thought Julie okay. Roberts actually played a really, I thought they played good characters. Okay, I had a Valkyrie experience with this. Did you? Yeah, watching Julia Roberts is watching, is like watching Tom Cruise, because you're looking at her going, that's a pretty woman. Well, no, but see, I Don't didn't have to, no, because you haven't seen her in a long time. I think it's the other thing too. Well, is she hasn't changed. She's, she looks the same yeah, I know, in this but, movie, she didn't pretty, pretty Woman. But, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Julia Roberts, but I, I actually thought that they acted. Clive Owen is a great actor. Yeah, I think they, I, yeah, I think it was yeah. okay. It, it could have been cut down by about 15 minutes. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think there was a lot of dragging. It's not a bad yeah. movie. It's not great. It's yeah. it's not. I mean, they really could have sped it up and made it that much better. Okay, if there's nothing else opening this week, <laughs> then you could go see this. <laughs> And if not, you, I would, dude. I would wait till DVD. I, I would really wouldn't go. Hey, I, I, I think this is a DVD movie. I, I think that it's. But I wouldn't watch it on DVD. Paul Giamatti was in the movie too, and. Um the two guys, Wilkinson's and mine, just despise each other. I mean, it's a great, it's a great portrait of corporate America run purely by ego. These two guys just hate each other on a completely personal level. They just this movie actually had a lot of really well-known faces, and, and these are just actors that you recognize their faces, but their names you wouldn't really, really necessarily get. Yeah, yeah. And the guy that was head of the other, uh, yeah, skincare company, yeah. Or whatever it was. Yeah, so he, he, so he, he's you know. usually like the co-star, and he yeah. usually plays the assistant to the guy who's powerful. Exactly. This time he's. And, uh, we want to thank the. Uh, Anyway, we're at the AMC and uh, City Walk. We want to thank them for letting us Wonderful film people. inside this beautiful place. By yes, the way. it is. It is beautiful. And they're the great host, by the way. Yes, they are. So, um, I rate this movie. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a two and a half. I will give it um, a two. Okay, I give it two and a half just because I thought the storyline was kind of yeah. cool. I, I actually didn't mind the chemistry between the two of them. I just thought it was too long, and yeah. they could have really. I don't know. They could have added some. This kind is of not a movie I would actually get in my car and drive to a theater. Never, to see. never, ever. No, but no. but if but if you got like Netflix and yeah. they send you the DVD They're and arrives in the mailbox and good you go like okay, great. So uh, anyhow, so we're gonna show the trailer. Yes, we will. And uh, I'm Steve Sandler. And I'm Brad Damon. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna see you at the movie. Yeah! Remember me? This wasn't an accident, was it? Being here, meeting like this. Can you imagine living like this? How much do you think you'd need? 20 million? I was thinking 40. So what do you have to do to get 40 million dollars? I took a job in counterintelligence for a Brooke and Randall. You're about to make a move, some new product, something big. The very existence of this product must be carefully protected. My God, he is gonna crush me. It's a total corporate death match. The competition will do anything to get their hands on this. Guess who they like for director of Intel Operations? You on one side, me on the other, it's perfect. You know what I think? I think you like the idea. Now all we have to do is find that product. We get there first, we'll make a fortune. Bingo. I think I found a way in. Oh. Excuse me, what was it before I got here? Apple teeny. Well, that sounds good. No peeking. Who is this guy? We're not sure. You're unbelievable. It was an assignment. It was nothing. Well, you should see the pictures. Oh, jeez. Is that the one where they're on the desk? We don't have time for this. I mean, we're here trying to run a triple game with some very smart, very motivated players. Do you have any idea how far my ass was hanging out because of you? If I told you I loved you, would it make any difference? If you told me, if I believed you. This is way over your head. Over my head? We were supposed to be on the same side. <laughs> Are these hers? What is that? It's a thong. It was in your closet. That's not possible. Well, in that case, I'll put them back on. You're gaming me. Admit it. You don't really.
Trust me, you know.